Hey guys, you've seen the overkill truck in many of the videos online with all the YouTubers. I'm going to show you how to put decals on them so you can make your own towing truck, service truck, mowing truck, whatever it is you want. Let's get in the video and I recorded it for phones so it's zoomed in. Let me know in the comments what you think. We're going to take the decal kit that I already have here. You're going to take that zip folder inside of the mod you want to work on it, right? So. Here's the overkill. It's originally going to look like this inside of the zip folder when you download it. Just going to right click on it and whatever zip program you use, you're going to make it so it has its own folder, right? Extract it. I already have it extracted out, so it's right here. So once you have it extracted out, you open it up. You will copy and paste the decal kit that you have downloaded already and you will paste it inside of the mod. From here, you're going to export it to its own folder as well to decal kit. Okay, once you've done that, you'll get a little folder that says decal kit. Inside this decal kit is an i3D file and several little templates to kind of look and see what you think. All right, first I have one with just our logo on it for the community here for Lambo and Winston. And then I have one that we've made for Punka, Punka Dylan. And then we also have just a decal template that is offered to you to do your own. And then here's a decal uh, of a tow truck, uh, just to give you some ideas. But the ideal one you're going to want here is decal template. And you would open this up inside of paint.net. It's a free program. I really recommend you download it. Let's open that up. I already have it open right here. And then from here, you would put in whatever you want. So um, let's just put GP. He knows who he is. We'll give him a shout out. And we'll put GP here as well. And this is just to show you. Let's do red on that one. It's all about From here, you just save it. I would save it as a new one and leave that template for other ones. So here we'll put GP. This is just a template walking you through how to make your own. You can copy and paste images, whatever you want inside of here. And then remember to just always save it as its own decal name. That way you'd always have the template to refer back to. Once once we have it here, next we need to take this folder here, this, uh, this decal that should be inside of your mod and we're gonna import it into the overkill. So you will open up the overkill file right here, overkill F550. Once you have that open, we're going to go and click on this button right here with the plus sign, import i3d file. We're going to go into the decal folder kit here. Double click on decal Lambo mods. This decal is going to bring up a transform group. This transform group has a little bit of directions to transfer, place decal kit main inside your mod. So we're going to take this main, which is our visual here, we're going to control X and then scroll all the way up to the top, click on overkill. This is the main object in the scene you see here. And we're just going to hit control B. That's going to paste this decal kit inside of the mod, make it one with it. Now we can go over here and kind of look at it. And it's currently assigned to the towing one. So easy way to change that to the one we just made is we'll open up the decal kit transform group, select decal kit visual. From there, make sure you have your material editing folder open. If you don't know how to open that, you go to window, material editing. You go and click on Abito map. Once you have Abito map, this little folder, will, this little image will pop up and you're gonna click these three little dots here. This three little dots allows you to open up a new texture file. This is the GP we created before, and we're going to select that texture file. Now we have GP selected, and once we click this X here, it'll apply it to the scene. Now we have GP as a big logo on the side of this. <clears throat> From here, you can see is also there's a logo up on the roof. More advanced tutorials will probably be done for an extension to this add-on uh, working on the tailgate here. Uh, but that would also select you to have a little bit more knowledge in here and a higher chance that you might mess up the mod 
uh, from operating correctly. Uh, but we will make that tutorial later on when we add more decals for this truck. This was made by Expendables Modding. We just like the truck a lot and we made decals and we really like to get that out without trying to copy their work. We just like to help you make it a really cool personalized truck for you. A lot of time and effort was put in this and this is our way of being like, this is the cool mod as another team to another team. That's how you apply it. There's a couple neat things you can do with this that we will go over very quickly. One is making it glow, uh, making it actually be very bright. And one of those would be under this folder called Emissive Map. You hit the three little dots, it's gonna bring up this, and then we'll hit the three little dots again. And then we can also assign it again here. And it'll actually glow at nighttime, glow 24 seven. I mean, it'll just be very vibrant all the time. Both sides. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that. It'll look kind of unrealistic at nighttime, but it does make it really stand out a lot more. Uh, this would be neat if uh, certain police or firefighter truck mods you guys might have be coming out or just whatever your typical play is. So we'll, for right now, we're just going to get rid of that. Uh, we don't necessarily want that on there. A um, couple more options that you can do is adding a dirt map to it which would be a stock dirt map from the game. That would be a simple task of double clicking on these three dots again. More three dots. From here, you're gonna to navigate to your installation folder of your farming simulator. Usually, I have Steam, so it's in my Steam library, Steam apps, common, farming simulator 19, and data. That may vary from player to player, but I can only show you my experience that I have using Steam. From here, there's a dog barking in the background that might possibly be fed some ham here to be quiet. Just kidding. You open this up and we're gonna go to shared. Once you are in the data folder, you go to shared. From here, scroll all the way down to the bottom and if you want kind of a shiny, the more green it is, the more shinier it is. Uh, yellow's more of a dull. Whee! Love that noise. Yellows are more doles and whatnot. And then, uh, so we can, this actually puts out a decent little, go from there, assign a gloss. You can have your own as well. Uh, there are several that are floating around out there. We went down to the shader. We scrolled down to shader source and clicked on this little replace and add new shader. And from here, we're gonna click back up one from the shared and go to shaders. Scroll down to vehicle shader and from that actually starts assigning some dirt to it. So when the truck gets dirty, the logo actually would get dirty as well. To reset the outdoor camera, you just position your camera as such above it. Like if you were using it in game, you imagine it'd be back right about here. Not too far back and not too far close. It's right about here would be perfect. Now that it's positioned, you're gonna come up here, hit save. After you hit save, close down. Then you'll have this open. And then you'll highlight everything. I already have a zip folder created. You highlight everything. You don't have to include the decal kit zip, just the one that you open. And then you would create that into overkill zip. Now I have it, and then I'll just drop it in my mods folder and my logos and decals will be on there. If you're enjoying this awesome content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit our Patreon page. Thank you.